So in front of me here, I have what might become my favorite release from Great Eastern Cutlery in 2024. <clears throat> of course, depending on what they're going to release later this year, it is only uh, July. Um, but this is the Great Eastern Cutlery 78 Bullet and Barlow, I think they were calling it. Um, it's a two-bladed Barlow. This one is in uh, Woodland saw cut rich light um and i quite like the rich light that was on my 15 so i figured i'd just go for this uh model because it was the first one available and i really wanted one of these because uh, i'm a big fan of barlow's and this is a little bit bigger than a 15 um and i think a little bit bigger than a 77 too although i didn't check in fact honestly Okay, so it's just a little bit smaller than the Baron Sun 4-inch Barlow. Um, but this right here, looking at the uh, handles, saw cut, rich light, uh, woodland saw cut, rich light. It does kind of almost have a greenish tint to it. Um, if you don't know, rich light is, I think it's kind of like a paper micarta. Um, but from what I understand, from what I've heard on like the Catch Pit show and stuff, uh, it sounds like rich light is like a material that is used on like a lot of countertops and stuff. Uh, so, you know, it's a fairly durable uh, material. And I think it looks really good on the knives. Um, I do wish it was bone. Um, they are doing bone versions of this knife. But I don't know if I'm going to try to get one or not. Uh, it depends on how uh, that goes. I at least got one. And I did get this from an actual retailer. Um, that being said, I think it was a retailer that charges charges a little bit more than other retailers uh, typically, um, but still not really anywhere near what I've seen it on the secondary market for uh, so far. Um, but with this knife, you get a clip point main blade, and it's a pretty good looking clip point. Reminds me a little bit of the clip point on like the 44 gun stocks, although I think it is a little bit bigger. The blades... Uh, it's like just under three inches, so like uh, two and seven eighths, we'll say, inches long. Uh, knife has half stops. The action is pretty good. I didn't put any mineral oil or anything in it. Um, then you get a pen blade here. Pen blade is in front of the uh, clip blade. And the pen blade is a pretty substantial pen blade. Uh, it's just over two and a quarter inches uh, long. Right there's the model number, the 78. Uh, that's the pattern. One for a clip blade, two for two blades, and 24 for the year it was made. Um, and the action on the pen blade is also pretty good. A uh, couple little things to point out real quick here. Um, the pen blade being in front of the clip blade uh, is nice to have access to both blades from the front of the knife. You don't have to switch it over to get to the pen blade like you do on a lot of uh, Knives Great Eastern Cutlery has been doing more recently. Um, but that being said, you don't have a lot of access to the nail nick on that clip blade. And honestly, the clip blade is just a touch proud there. The tip is just over outside the liner, just a little bit. Just enough to barely catch you. It could probably cut you if you really wanted to try to cut yourself. Um... Logan would be going crazy. I think he got his, and his is a little bit less proud, and he called it proud. Um, but yeah, this tip is certainly proud. Um, but you can't really drop the kick on the clip blade, because then the nail neck would completely disappear, and I want to be able to have access to that. What I am thinking I might do is I might drop the kick on the pen blade here, just to give me a little bit more room to get to the uh, clip blade nail neck. That being said, I can access it, so it's not the end of the world or anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I like the knife. Uh, just some very slight um, things with it. The proud tip's probably the uh, most annoying thing, but honestly, it probably won't bother me that much. Um, but the saw cut rich light here, I really like the way it looks. They went with a really, like, thick saw cut on this, whereas on the 15s, it was more like a traditional saw cut, like you would do in, like, a bone. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of, like, uh, you know, some saw cut Delrin, how they would do it on the uh, more affordable knives. 
uh, just a little bit. <clears throat> reminds me of that. A lot of people have been saying this reminds them of the uh, Queen Barlow's. I never had one of those, uh, but it does look kind of similar, just this handle and everything. Um, but I really like the Rich Light. I think it looks good. Um, like I said, I don't think that I would like it as much as I would like Bone, but this was the first model available, and I wanted to get one of these uh, Barlow's, so I just went for it. Um, now, there's going to be some discussion about this not being a Barlow, because typically your Barlow... Um, has a little bit longer bolster and uh, some people really uh, live on that want to die on that hill and everything uh, but typically your Bar barlow has a little bit longer bolster um, but this is an elongated bolster it's just not quite as elongated as some people think it should be uh, but bill howard called it a barlow so i'm going to call it a barlow this is a barlow and is part of my barlow collection now um, but in all seriousness, um, I think it's a really good looking knife. Um, and I will call it a Barlow. Uh, it does have a shield. I know a lot of people have mixed opinions about shields on Barlows, but it is something that, uh, people did. Um, people did put shields on Barlows even back in the day. Less common than shields on your other knives, uh, because a lot of times they've just stamped the bolster. But you do see shields on Barlow's, even older Barlow's. Um, so that is a thing that isn't uh, entirely inaccurate. Um, but yeah, so with this you get uh, brass liners, brass pins, uh, nickel silver bolsters. I do wish that they had done an all steel version of this because I think that that would, be, would have been uh, amazing. You know, do a version of this with steel pins and steel liners and steel bolsters i think that that would have been really cool uh but this knife as is is pretty it's pretty nice uh, you can see here the uh back spring for the pen blade wraps around and terminates like that which is kind of kind of a nice little detail there um on a lot of knives the spring will just you know uh end where the other spring does but on this one they actually you know did that little bit of extra uh finishing there to just give you a little bit less space for uh, dirt and grime and stuff to get in. Um, but yeah, overall, really happy with the knife. I do really like these titty shields, just these basic shields that say titty on them. Um, I do think that I'm going to probably carry this knife quite a bit. Um, and I think I'll be really happy with it. Um, I don't think it has any blade play. No blade play on the main blade. Let's check the, the pen blade here. Nope, no blade play on either of the blades, so that's awesome. Um, I know some people, I think, were hoping that they would do a single blade version of this. I think this is the same frame, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the same frame that my Big Bay Barlow is made on. Uh, it's at least similar. And I don't have that down here because I didn't think that far, far ahead. Um, but I think I definitely prefer having the two blades, uh, just because it's always nice to have a second blade, um, just in case, you know, just in case you're, you know, cutting a lot of stuff and your main blade goes dull. Um, and then you have, you know, a secondary blade to get you through the rest of your day. Um, so I do like having two blades on a knife. Uh, some people much prefer having a single blade, uh, pocket knife. But I think those people also tend to carry another knife. Uh, a lot of times they'll carry a modern folder and a pocket knife for in their pocket. Um, but usually uh, for me as I just carry a pocket knife in my pocket. Uh, just because modern folders don't have the same uh, appeal to me. And I don't really know why that is. I'm like not even 30. I should be into modern folders. Um, but I'm really not super into them. Occasionally I'll buy one, like the Chavez, and it's cool and everything. But, like, I haven't carried the Chavez yet, I don't think. Um, so, you know, 99% of the time, all I have in my pocket is I have a pocket knife. And then occasionally I'll put on, like, a belt sheath and I'll carry, like, my Case Folding Hunter or the GEC 23 or a Buck 110, 112, or... Um, 
something like that. And then I always have, or pretty much always have, my Victorinox Pioneer in my back pocket. Just because having the two screwdrivers is nice, and having a can opener could can be nice, and a bottle opener can be nice. Uh, but I think most of what I use that knife for is tightening and loosening screws on stuff. Um, and it's really good for that. Um, but anyway, um, centering on the blades, I didn't do that yet, I don't think. Uh, the main blade's pretty well centered, and it looks like the pen blade is pretty centered. Maybe slightly off to one side, not enough to matter, of course. Um, you know, and generally speaking with uh, traditional pocket knives, um, if you're, as long as your blade's not touching the liner, I don't really care that much. Um, but yeah, so this has been the uh, Great Eastern Cutlery 78 uh, Bullet End Barlow. And I think it's a really uh, attractive looking knife. And I think I'm really going to enjoy carrying this knife. Um, and I'm always happy to add another Barlow to my uh, extensive collection of Barlows that I have at this point. Um, and I'm sure that I will enjoy this one. Um, that being said, I'll probably try to drop the pen blade. Oh, I didn't show off this. So, so this knife came with a pen, uh, like some of them do. And this one's a really cool one. So I wanted to show that. Just like a river running through a uh, valley kind of there with some trees and stuff. Uh, appropriate for the woodland uh, micarta knife, I guess. Uh, but I really like that pin. I thought that was cool. Um, so I wanted to show that and I forgot about it. Um, but anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you have a good day.